Hey everyone, it's Julio Ramon here at ICANN, and in today's video I'm going to talk about two of my favorite e-image tripods. We're going to compare both of them, and we're going to see which one is right for you. All right, now what we have here today is we have the EG-03TT and the EG-03A2. Now, both of these tripods are similar in a lot of ways, but as you can clearly see, they also have a lot of differences. So we're gonna talk about each one and see what makes them unique, and we're gonna figure out what kind of situations we'll use each one in and see which one is right for you. So first off, let's see how they're similar. Now both of these kits use the same fluid video head. They both use the GH03. Now this head has a payload capacity of up to 11 pounds and it uses a 75 millimeter bowl and also comes with a variable adjustment on your tilt drag. So you can adjust your tilt, change the drag, customize it to how you like. Also, one feature that I love is that the quick release plate has the ability to snap in. Now what I mean by that is that to use this head, you don't have to slide the plate in. Of course you can, but one neat feature is that you also have the ability to simply snap it in place. So come from the top, snap it in place, and you're locked in. Which is a nice feature when you're trying to change setups quickly and you wanna go from maybe handheld back to sticks, you can do that quickly, snap it in, and you don't have to fumble around trying to slide the plate back into the head. Now looking down at the tripod legs, you can clearly see that they are different. However, they are both constructed out of aluminum. Now the EG-03A2 does weigh 10.8 pounds, while the EG-03TT only weighs eight. So there is a difference in how much they weigh. Clearly this model will be a lot lighter, this will be a lot heavier, but that's only one difference that they have. Now let's keep going. Now let's look at this one here. What you will notice on this model is that there's only one single lock to adjust the legs. Now this is huge. With one single lock, you can adjust the entire leg, the entire height of the tripod quickly with one knob. So you can raise it up high, raise it down low, and it really comes in handy because it's a lot faster. Now with the other model over here, it uses a different type of system. It uses a latch system, but it does have two sections, and each section has to be adjusted individually. But they both have reasons why they are constructed the way they are. Now the EG03A2 also comes with a mid-level spreader. So this tripod here is gonna be nice and solid. It's gonna feel really stable. As for the EG03TT, this tripod is designed to be a lot more versatile. And what I mean by that is that it has the ability to get down really, really low. This tripod can actually get brought down to a height of 12.5 inches, while the other tripod is at 29.5. Now, the way you bring it down so low is that this tripod on each leg at the very top, you have an adjustment lock. Now, this adjustment lock is adjusted by pulling it out and you can move the leg to three different slots that will lock into three different heights. So you can also open it up all the way. And as you can see, the tripod actually has room to get down really low. You do that to each leg, you can get down all the way to the floor, and that's just something that the other tripod can't do. Now what the EG03A2 does have is that it has the ability to get up a lot higher. This tripod can get to a maximum height of 66.5 inches, while the other tripod can get to 55.5. Now you have one tripod that can get higher, and you have another tripod that can get lower, but another advantage that the EG03TT has is that because it has this leg construction, you have the ability to use this tripod in a lot more uneven surfaces. So it makes it great for when you're out, maybe doing a backpack shoot and you're running around in the forest or something, this will be the guy that you wanna take because it's lighter and it's gonna be easier to carry and you're gonna be able to use it in tricky surfaces. As for this one, it's quicker to adjust, it reaches higher levels and it has a little bit more stability. 
So at the end of the day, when you're looking at them both and you're trying to decide which one is right for you, the deciding factor is really going to be your shooting style. Now if you have any more questions and you're looking for more information, you can always visit us at iCanCorp.com. My name is Julio Ramon. Thank you for watching.